Hi, Kevin here. For dinner tonight, we're fixing cabbage steaks that I'm going to top, I think, with eggs. We'll see. Anyway, the cabbage steaks are really easy to do and they're absolutely delicious. And yes, I know that I made a cabbage dish for you, what, two days ago, but I can't help it. We really love cabbage. All right, here we go. All right, so what I have here is half of a medium-sized cabbage, and I did leave the core in place. And then what you want to do is cut thick slices, and I'm going to cut mine about three quarters of an inch thick. And the reason you leave the core in place is so that the leaves don't become detached. This is a little tricky to do because, of course, cabbage is, well, it can be hard as a rock. There. One. And if any of the leaves come loose, well, just do your best to hold them in place. And then, I'm going to set this over here on a aluminum foil lined baking sheet. I lined the sheet with aluminum foil just for easy cleanup. Okay. I think I'm going to try this with a serrated knife this time. This might be a little easier to do. Again, about, yes, much easier. Here it is. Okay, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do two more. These will be a little smaller. And this last one, let's see. Yeah, this will be a little baby cabbage steak. Okay. Now you want to brush some olive oil on the steaks. It's going to put a little drizzle on each one. Brush it all over the surface. The olive oil helps the steaks to caramelize. Okay, and then I'm going to flip them over. And do the same thing for the other side. Yeah, I fell in love with cabbage steaks oh, about 10 years ago. It was during a garden tour. Yeah, I used to host garden tours here for the Garden Conservancy and a a woman who was attending the tour, well, let me talk with you. Yeah, a woman who was attending the tour happened to notice that I had all of this Savoy cabbage growing in the herb garden. And she said, what are you going to do with it? And I said, I don't know. I really don't like cabbage. And she was aghast. She said, well, have you tried roasting it? I said, no. She said, well, if you cut it into thick wedges and then brush it with olive oil, top it with seasonings, and roast it for about 30 minutes, the cabbage will become as sweet as candy. Well, I harvested one of the Savoy cabbages that night, did what she said, roasted it, 
and it was magnificent. And from that day forward, I have loved cabbage. Okay, back to our recipe here. So now I'm going to top the cabbage with some salt. You can use any seasonings you like. First time I made this, I think I used Montreal steak seasoning, which is fabulous stuff if you've never tried it. But I can't find it anymore. So I don't know if it's no longer made or just my store is so poorly stocked that they don't carry it. Anyway, here's some, grind some black pepper and then I'm going to add some garlic powder. Just a sprinkle on each one. Turn this one over. Yeah, no egg is going to fit on this little baby cabbage steak, but that's all right. It's only two of us for dinner. Then I have some butter that I cut into little pieces, and I'm going to top, zoom you in a little so you can see. going to top the cabbage with little bits of butter, you know, just for some added flavor. Yeah, if not for that one particular garden tour, I would never even know about cabbage steaks. Though I suspect this is something that vegetarians and vegans probably make frequently. Of course, vegans would not put butter on the steaks. Okay, I'm going to pop this into a preheated 400 degree oven until the steaks start to singe around the edges and they become caramelized. And that will take about 30 minutes. Meantime, I'm going to fix the eggs. Okay, we're ready to fry the eggs. So I have my skillet over medium flame. I'm going to add, oh, about a tablespoon and a half of butter. This is really good butter. It's that Kerrygold salted butter. I'm going to let this melt. And then, for, just for fun, and I've never tried this before, I'm going to put two of my English muffin rings in this pan. This way I can have a round egg shape to go on top of the round cabbage steak. This melt. Okay. I'm going to put the rings in here. And then, so that the eggs don't stick to the rings, I'm going to spray them with, with just regular non-stick cooking spray. Okay. These are very good, very fresh large local eggs. All right. And I'm going to let these cook just until the whites are set and the yolks are cooked through, but the yolk is still soft. And that's going to take, oh, probably five minutes or so. And also I'm going to Cover this skillet and I'm going to cook these just over low heat so we'll come back when the cabbage steaks and eggs are ready and of course I forgot to season my eggs a little salt this is kosher salt and some grinds of black pepper all right we'll be back 
All right, here's the dinner. The cabbage steak with the egg. And by the way, that English muffin ring did work out really well. And we're having this with some crisp Pinot Grigio. And for dessert, I made some jello with cream cheese and I topped it with some whipped cream. That was Mr. Fox's serving. Here's mine. And this is one of the um, coconut oil biscuits over here. I made those while well, I filmed the video for you, I think a week or two ago. Here's my dessert. And I wanted to show you, look at this. This is my favorite part of the cabbage steak. Is this super caramelized edge. Okay, time for a taste. We will be eating our cabbage steak and eggs with a fork and a knife, but I'm going to eat this highly caramelized edge out of hand. This is ridiculously delicious. It's amazing how sweet the cabbage becomes in the oven, and all you need is olive oil and a little butter if you want, and salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Yeah, super delicious, super sweet, super easy to do. So I hope you'll try this cabbage steaks and eggs dinner someday. It would be good for breakfast as well. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.